Hi guys, Ty here from Rally Sport Direct. Today we're going to be doing an install video on this brand new white line lower control arm, specifically for the 08 through 14 STI. A few of you might ask, why do I need an aftermarket control arm? Well, first off, it is an all aluminum construction, so you're going to be shedding weight. And it's also got these pre-pressed in hardened polyurethane bushings. So you're going to be getting rid of your old worn out bushings that are soft and give you slop in your steering. For these ones, they're going to be stiff and give you great steering feedback. One more thing is that it has this added caster. So when you add caster to your car, you're going to be improving your high speed stability as well as your cornering effectiveness, which is huge. It might not seem like a huge difference for the average Joe, but that might be where you're wrong. Because whether you track the car or daily drive it, you're going to notice a really big improvement in how it handles because of this added caster and these hardened polyurethane bushings. So let's get into the install. So we're going to start by removing these three nuts right there freeing up this part of the control arm. And then we're gonna to move to this section right here. And we're gonna remove a, uh, a bolt right there, bolt right here, and this cast bolt. We'll take out the pin, drop the control arm, swap the new white line one in, we'll be good to go. We are going to remove the sway bar end link, or detach it from the control arm, I should say. And once we detach it from the control arm, all we'll have left is this little castle nut right here. And we'll be able to take this cotter pin out just with some needle noses or some little clippers, and we'll be able to remove this, and then control arm will be free. All right, so we're gonna put the wrench over the bolt like this. We're gonna make sure it's set to uh, loosen the nut and we're going to take this guy right here make sure it's set to tighten so they're not both spinning in the same direction and we'll insert that little hex into the sway bar and then we'll just start turning so now that the end link is no longer secured to the control arm. What we can do is just uh, get around here. And we will wiggle that loose. Oh, it came off really easy. Make sure we don't lose that washer. And now, the only thing holding this control arm on is that castle nut right there. So now that we have the control arm free, we should just be able to wiggle it off like so, and now it's out. So when you're going to install this white line lower control arm, the parts you're gonna need or all of the hardware you're gonna need, I'm showing right here. What you're gonna need out of the kit is obviously the white line lower control arm itself, one 11 millimeter spacer and one five millimeter spacer you're also going to need all this hardware. So all of this hardware right here is just going to be what you take out of the car. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this white line lower control arm and I'm going to put all of the parts where they need to go before we actually put this on the car. Just so you guys can get a good idea of where everything is need is just so you T -t today, Junior? <laughs> just so you guys can get a good idea of where everything needs to go. We're going to take this guy and this right here and we're going to put it through that front polyurethane bushing like so car so what we're going to do next is i'm going to show you where this bolt goes so this is the bolt you're going to get in lieu of this stud that comes out of the car so this bolt right here is going to be going through the rear polyurethane bushing and what we're going to do is we're going to put a spacer on the bottom of this 
I'm going to put it through this uh, rear bushing here. And then we're going to put a spacer on the top of it. So we're going to put the five millimeter spacer on the bottom of this. We're going to put the 11 millimeter spacer on the top. We're going to put the castle nut with the washer right here. And this little guy is going to be for the uh, white line sway bar end links or your OEM end links. And this plate right here is going to go underneath this rear bushing. What we're gonna start with first is this plate right here and the two bolts that hold it in. We're gonna take it like so. And we're going to move on to putting the actual control arm in. We're gonna start on that front bushing. So the front bushing is pretty easy. What I'd recommend you grab is a, just a mallet here so we can kind of tap it and just get it snug into its home right up. All right guys, so what we're gonna to wanna to do to install this part right here, or install the remaining uh, point of the control arm, is we're gonna take the castle nut, we're gonna take its washer, and we're gonna take a 3 32nd by one inch cotter pin, and we're gonna put it through the castle nut, through this bolt, we're gonna call her good. All right guys, so that was the install video for the white line lower control arms. As you know, now our STI will have better high speed stability and better cornering ability, which make the car an overall more fun vehicle to drive. So if you like our install videos or our step-by-step -step tutorial videos, leave us a comment, let us know, and I'll see you guys on the next one.